A lot of people are interested these days in martial arts. As a matter of fact, I've got a black belt myself in Tung Fu, but that's another story. Here's Neil Roberts with some pretty tough kids. You know how they used to say, spare the rod, spoil the child? Well, watch this. It was just so much safer when I was a kid. Jill Griffin is 15, and she likes nothing more than a good whack across the tummy. Her friend Kenneth Applegate enjoys being smashed over the shins, and if he's having a really smashing time, he'll get someone to give him a good, satisfying wallop over the back. For Kenneth and Jill are the killer kung fu kids of Tauranga. The kids are exponents of Namwa Pai, an oriental martial art, which is all about fitness, health, and self-defense. You see, Namwa Pai simply means southern Chinese art. We're a Chinese form of internal strength. Internal strength is simply special methods of breathing aided by the mind to make the body very, very powerful. After internal strength, we concentrate on iron conditioning techniques to prepare the body for impact. Iron conditioning techniques? Yeah, they are um, conditioning techniques we use um, hitting our body with uh, special things. And so this is why you use the expressions iron arm, iron leg, iron, leg, iron. iron head, yes. Yeah, sounds pretty weird. It's quite an involved complex. We can't really go into it too much because it takes too long to explain it. Even the students that are actually training in it don't quite understand it. But uh, presumably you do end up fairly tough. Well, we don't like to think we end up tough, but we end up um, being able to break things that we didn't think we could normally break with our heads and our hands and legs, yes. Kenneth and Jill do all sorts of exercises and become remarkably supple after five hours of Nam Wah Pai each week. They work on routines which help them practice fighting tactics. And sometimes they fight, usually without any serious contact, for Nam Wah Pai punches and kicks are lethal. Even adult tutors belt up when they're facing these two because Nam Wah Pai develops an inner strength and energy which can be awesome. And these kids are very, very good. Kenneth and Jill have been New Zealand champs for years. Kenneth won the world champs in Singapore in 85, and Jill would have, but for a freak accident which broke her hand. What happened? Uh, well, they were doing a demonstration, uh, breaking big, long sticks and one of them went flying over to where I was sitting at, whacked my hand and I had to go and pull out, so I only got third. It broke your hand? Yeah. Ready? But it's the breaks the kids Break. like best. <laughs> to test the development of the back. inner strength, the Nam Wah Pai people keep smashing things, breaking things on themselves and lying under cars. <laughs> By concentrating on the part of the body concerned, they feel no pain. And that's where a lot of the fun is, is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. How, why is it the best part, Jill? Oh, uh, because you sort of feel powerful once you don't. You sort of feel good, you know, to achieve something like that. Not many people get to do that sort of thing. So what sort of things have you done? Oh, I've broken a baseball bat over my shin. What did that feel like? Oh, I didn't feel anything. But did you feel good afterwards? Yeah, I felt kind of proud. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay, well. and what about cars? Are you going to move up to that sort of stuff? Yeah, I've done it. What? Oh, I had to do it for my third degree. A car over my stomach. A car over your stomach. Uh huh. What does your mother think of this, Kenneth? Well, she's, um, she think she shrieked out first of all, but then when I showed her, you know, how hard it was and that, how hard my um shin was, she felt it. And she, oh. and she thought a bit better though. She still freaks out. It must make you feel very, very tough, lady. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you come to any harm by doing that sort of thing? No, none whatsoever. Safety first. 